Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hi. Right now we're going up to a castle. And the name of the castle is quite difficult. It's in a town or city actually named Castle. And it spells like K-E-S-S-E-L. So once I reach up there, I'm gonna take some pictures of it because we probably won't be able to go inside because it's already five o'clock and it closes at five o'clock so i am just gonna try and take pictures from the outside <coughs> have says collecting pine cones over here uh, and sticks and Hafsa says that this is the first time she has seen maple leaves, so many maple leaves together. Although we've come from Canada, but she hasn't seen this many maple leaves in Canada. Why so? Because we live in Calgary and the fall season is this short. And As soon as the leaves turn yellow, we get a lot of snow and then the winter starts. So most of them are maple leaves and Hafsa keeps on collecting huge, big, large maple leaves and she's enjoying them a lot. I also got a red leaf. It was white on the bottom. Yeah. Okay, we've, we have reached the top. And this is the castle. Can you go over there and have a take a picture? Mm -hmm. And that's the Hercules statue that we just went to. There is a Hercules is that? Oh, it's a photo. Oh, it's a photo. Baby castle. It's a baby castle. So before we came to this castle, there was another castle that we already visited and its name is Marienburg Castle. I hope I'm pronouncing it right, but I'm pretty sure that I'm not. So that was a huge castle. So when we came here, we found this comparatively small and we were like, it's a cute castle. It's kind of like a baby castle. But there is a reason why it's so small and cute. And the reason is that it wasn't built as a fort. It was only built as a player house. Yeah, I just wanted to take a close up. Oh my gosh. Such a tiny castle. So this is the ticket. And can I go inside because it's closed now? The ticket wasn't that expensive. It was like six euros for one person and that wasn't that bad. So there is a museum inside it. Most of the old art and interior and furniture and stuff like that is still saved inside. So the clock still works because it's five o'clock on the clock. Okay, I'm gonna go on the other side and see what it looks from there. Okay, I cannot make sense out of this. So the outer area doesn't really feel like it's the Baroque architecture, but I've heard that the inside area like resembles that era also you can see the stone used over here is exactly the same stone that was used to build the hercules monument hence the erosion and it constantly needs to be repaired Ooh, there's a door over there what was over there a door a little door let me see a door I'll draw it huge parts of this castle were destroyed in the second world war the old town area of the city castle was densely populated and 
most of it was attacked during the world war ii and the heaviest attack that the city experienced was in 1943 after the attack a lot of parts of the castle were destroyed all that remained was the stair tower with some remains of the wall so the reconstruction took place after the war and it was much more a functional reconstruction it wasn't very detailed although the castle is closed at this moment but there still were a lot of people over here i think there is a little garden that is basically part of the castle so people probably come here and sit around and enjoy Open, 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 open. I want to see inside. No, it is not open. Hmm. And this is the other side of the castle. And now we're going to leave. Right now, I'm standing in the little garden that I was talking about. And the background view of the castle was really nice so i wanted to take a few pictures over here you can clearly see the statues and the shaped pools over here in this garden this is a typical baroque garden but this was quite a little too small we enjoyed sitting here and taking pictures over here and the view of the castle from this area was amazing as well and after this we decided to go to the city of castle and see what we could find over there well that's a hotel <laughs> honestly we were really impressed by the city of castle we loved the trams over here it was a city full of hustle and bustle and we really enjoyed coming over here and if i compare it with hanover i enjoyed this city more uh, majorly because we were over here on a weekday and at a time when everything was open and we could see people coming and going around it felt a little more lively uh, comparatively on top of everything else there were a lot of halal food options over here and we did try one afghani restaurant and we really enjoyed it it was so good to see some desi items on the menu although most of the menu was in german but obviously when you look at desi names you recognize them so as soon as i saw the karahi option i ordered the jersey karahi and then we had naan we had plain rice with it we really felt like having some kind of a soup so there was some mutton yakhni available so we thought of trying that it was okay, but the Chersi Karai was awesome. And uh, since they got to know that we came all the way from Göttingen, actually all the way from Canada to Germany, they gave us complimentary baklava and we loved it. And then afterwards, in the end, we had our Peshawari, or you can say Afghani Kehwa. So it was amazing food and i was having it after like so long i loved it so guys this was our trip to castle and we loved the city i really hope that you liked the vlog if you did please subscribe like and comment and i'll see you later in my next vlog bye